Thanks for joining Sound Off and welcome to the Crown Chakra. Okay, so the Crown Chakra, this is the last and shed, uh, the seventh primary chakra, and this is located at the top of the head. So this is going to serve as a connection point between the individual self and universal consciousness. So um, among all the chakras, I would think that the, the crown chakra, it holds a unique position because it's the highest point of spiritual energy within the human body. So it's at the crown of the head. It is the gateway to higher consciousness, enlightenment, and unity with the divine. Okay, so practices such as meditation, prayer, and mindfulness can help open and balance the crown chakra. It helps to quiet the mind and it allows us to experience moments of pure awareness and transcendence. Um, any kind of devotional practices such as chanting, singing, any kind of rituals can also help activate the crown chakra and deepen our connection. So what if your crown chakra is unbalanced? So I want to give you some symptoms of an unbalanced crown chakra. Um, one of them is feeling disconnected, you may feel disconnected from the higher self may feel disconnected from spirituality or a sense of purpose, might struggle to find meaning or direction in your life. Um, it could cause closed-mindedness. It can cause depression and anxiety. Emotional symptoms such as depression, anxiety, or existential angst might be arise from their imbalanced crown chakra. You can feel isolated, despaired, and can make you depressed. It can give you a lack of inspiration. Now, physical symptoms... Now, these chakras are primary energetic, but it can um, have some physical issues like headaches, migraines, some neurological disorders. It can cause all of these things. So that's why it's very important. So I was talking about the uh, crystals. I always say um, a tip. So if you're going to use a crystal to balance the crown chakra, you should use selenite. That's a perfect crystal to use. It's pretty easy to find. Just don't put it in water because it's very, very soft and it'll break up, okay? So by nurturing and balancing the crown chakra, this energy center, you can awaken to the inherent wisdom, love, and harmony that exists within you. So just remember, um, the journey to the crown chakra is about mastering the lower chakras effectively. You have to surrender your ego. You have to embrace the wisdom of your higher self. It's about recognizing the interconnectedness of all things and finding peace in the present moment. So I find peace in this present moment because we have gone through all the chakras. <laughs> I hope this was informative to all of you. And I want to thank you for sharing and joining and sounding off with me. This is Kate Paper Chase. Thanks for watching.